Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to take a look at DaVinci Resolve 16's Speed Warp Control. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and we're going to take a step back to DaVinci Resolve Beta 1 version 16. And one of the things I want to show you is speed warping. And I kind of glossed over it in the first video, and I really want to deep dive into it a little bit more and show you really what this thing can do. And while it will help in some cases with speeding up footage, where it really shines is in slowing down footage. And what it does is some new motion estimation to fill in the gaps when you're slowing down footage. So uh, let's say I shot some stuff at 24 frames per second and I want to slow it down, but I'm on a 24 frames per second timeline. Well, if I slow that down 50%, which would be 12 frames per second, I mean, that means every other frame is getting dropped and I'm going to get some very, very jerky footage. So let's take a look at this first piece here. And in this first clip, I just used the regular speed controls to drop this down to 25%. And you can see it's very, very, very jerky as the slow motion kicks in. Again, there's just no frames in between for it to work with. So for a while, we've had an option called optical flow. And optical flow tries to um, fill in those missing pieces. So let's take a look what optical flow looks like. So you can see it's, it's smooth, but there's some really bad artifacts. Let's see if we can see these, these really nasty artifacts in here. Yeah, there's a really good example of some doubling up on those frames. So while optical flow would work great sometimes, other times you'd have to use some of the other techniques to, and it, you know, to keep those artifacts from happening, and it still would never be that good. So now with the new neural engine in DaVinci Resolve 16, we now have speed warp. So speed warp is a setting under optical flow. So it's another option. Now, one thing to bear in mind, this is a 5K iMac. And for most of the things in Resolve 16, this thing works really, really well. On speed warping, it takes a while. I mean, to just uh, render this one clip took several minutes. So it's not a fast thing. Now, hopefully this will be uh, improved in later versions of of DaVinci Resolve 16 as they get some performance improvements and optimizations. But right now it works, but it's slow. But let's take a look at the footage. Look at that. There's almost zero artifacting. I'm going to step through this. And while we see a little bit of warping, it's still a perfectly usable shot. So let's back this up and kind of step through it. He's in the air. I don't see anything. Looks very, very sharp. Coming into it. Um, no, thought I saw something there, but I don't. Look at his right shoulder there and the helmet. So little bit of warping going on there. Had that car not been there, it probably would have nailed it. We've got a little bit of smearing in there, but it kind of looks like motion blur, so it doesn't really stand out. And let's play it back at full speed. So not too shabby at all. Definitely a huge improvement over just the optical flow. So let's see how we actually set this up. So here's my three clips that I was working with. And I'll open this up so you can kind of see what I did. 
I'll go to my retime curve and retime speed, turn off frame. So you can just see I did a nice little dip here in the speed. I did a little Bezier curve on that to smooth it out. And with this selected, I go over to the inspector. Down in the list, you'll see retime and scaling. Just double click on that, select optical flow, and the default will be project settings. Then there's standard faster, standard better, enhanced faster, enhanced better, and speed warp. So just select speed warp and you're good to go. Now what I did on here to be able to play this back is I make sure I go to playback, go to render cache, and I set it on user. And then I went to clip and selected render cache color output. That way it would render it here on the timeline and I'd be able to run through it. So if you really need to slow some footage down and you, you just didn't shoot it fast enough, optical flow with the new speed warp might be your saving grace. Now I've tried it on some other pieces of footage that the results were absolutely incredible all the way down to 10% original speed, which is unheard of in doing anything outside of some specialized software like Twixter. Uh, just using optical flow would almost never give a good result going all the way down to 10%. And yet I was able to get some very, very nice footage with the optical flow speed warp. So it's an option, check it out. It's only in the studio version uh, because of the neural engine. So if you're running the free version, you still have optical flow, but you won't have the speed warp. If you have the studio version, then you'll have the speed warp option when you select optical flow. So check it out in DaVinci Resolve version 16, beta 1. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.